Howdy, and welcome back to Forever Spinning. For quite some time now, the Bay Area of California has been at the top of the hardcore and aggressive music world. Bands from San Francisco, San Jose, and Santa Cruz have been bursting onto the scene with some of the hottest records of the last few years. So today, I thought I would recommend and help break down what I consider to be six of the most essential records from the Bay Area hardcore scene. Now, let's get this out of the way very quickly. I am not from the Bay Area, and I am certainly not a part of that scene. I'm just a guy from the East Coast who's been following the scene pretty heavily since early 2020. I'm in no way, shape, or form an authority on this matter. I'm just simply a dude who wants other people to discover the incredible bands coming out of that neck of the woods. I'm not reviewing these records, I'm just trying to promote and share them with anybody interested. Also, I should note that this list is entirely in alphabetical order, and none of these records came out before 2019. Alright, let's get into the list, starting off with California Cursed from the Santa Cruz Legends Drain. Sometimes, all you need in life is a nice sunny day, a skateboard, and some of the most skull-crushing thrash hardcore around. California Curse somehow makes up two-thirds of that equation, as their unique blend of metal and punk can seemingly pull the sun from behind a curtain of clouds. This is an angry, in-your-face, and unapologetic record that still finds a way to uplift you with its quasi-surf rock riffs. It also helps that their frontman Sammy is an enigmatic, charming figure who would probably give you an earnest smile after throwing an elbow across your face. I know, it's hardcore, but the energy exuded from this LP is literally lightning in a bottle. One track in and you'll be buying a plane ticket out west so you can go beat up on some hippies or sharks or I don't know some other dumb shit. Speaking of Sammy, he actually played a huge role in the next record that we're going to talk about as he was their drummer before they disbanded. Can you guess the band? Well too late because the next record you're going to have to hear is Impenetrable Cerebral Fortress by Gulch. If you're even loosely aware of the current state of the Bay Area hardcore scene then odds are you've crossed paths with this bad boy. But if you haven't heard it yet then you're in for a goddamn treat. Pound for pound, this is one of the greatest modern hardcore records laid to wax. Devastating around each and every corner, there is no time to catch your breath while blasting this LP. There's not a dull moment to be found, as Gulch rips through all 16 minutes of this in a blistering manner. Across the board, Impenetrable Cerebral Fortress is performed with acute precision and utter discontent for your eardrums. It's not for the faint of heart, yet it's still totally accessible to anybody who's been trying to get into hardcore. Gulch transcended genres by making killer fucking tunes, so consider yourself a fool if you don't put this one on. The oldest record on this list is still as fierce and bloodthirsty as the newest, as Blueprint for Self-Destruction is all killer and no filler. This San Jose outfit is another band that is comprised of other members from groups that we've already talked about, namely Drain and Gulch. There are noticeable characteristics presented on this record that really do make it feel like the big first step for the scene. The heavy dose of 90s metal that is brought to the future through brilliant mixing and production is infectious immediately. Everything has an extra weight to it, as the performance are angry as hell. There are riffs all over this thing, and you'll be shouting some of these hooks for years to come. I was listening to this again while prepping for this script, and Blueprint for Self-Destruction has survived the passage of time terrifically. Moving back over to Santa Cruz, we have Scow with their 2021 effort, How Flowers Grow. Now, you might have seen some recent discourse calling this band an industry plant, and I would like to set the record straight. If you think Scow are industry plants, you're a fucking idiot and deserve to be treated as such. The reason Scow is so successful is because they kick fucking S. How Flowers Grow is the definitive representation of this claim. Each of these tracks are hard-hitting, yet complex and diverse. Even when it feels like they're taking a breather with a song like Seeds to Sow, they come right back and punch you in the jaw with idle roaring scream. Before they even released this record, their EP Reality After Reality was an absolute ripper too. This is a long roundabout way to say that Scow are the real fucking deal, so you gotta be a knuckle-dragging fool to write them off because of some fake industry plant accusations. If you don't get it after hearing how how flowers grow, then well, I think all hope is lost for you. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that all the records we just talked about thus far are not political in their own ways, but man, they all pale in comparison to the rage and anger that is on Habitual Offender by Spy. This, ladies and germs, is some real ass motherfucking hardcore. Spy pummels their way through six mind-melting cuts in rapid succession, firing off shots at anybody who crosses them. It's a drive-by shooting of an EP, which is always a blast. Spy mainly takes aim at Chud American and their support for a thin blue line that seemingly does a better job at collecting a paycheck than they do protecting and serving. Honestly, is there anything better in life than anti-cop hardcore punk? Personally, I think it's more American than apple pie and baseball combined. Luckily for us, not only is Spy right, but they're also insanely good at being right. This is for anyone who wants to wallop a pig's dome piece with a lead pipe, or for anyone who wants to burn down the system entirely. The choice is yours, Western person. What isn't a choice, however, is listening to Habitual Offender. It's an absolute must. I will not take 
no for an answer. Sorry, I don't make the rules. Let's close this video out by talking about Tsunami's self-titled EP that dropped back in 2020. Yeah, I could have easily picked their brand new self-titled LP that dropped earlier this year, but I feel that this EP is more historically relevant to all the records that we talked about thus far. This San Jose outfit does not know the meaning of toning it down. Actually, they seem to continually be pushing the boundaries with each of their outings, live shows included. Starting as a spoof on modern day hardcore, accentuating the classic genre traits to the extreme, Tsunami has leaned so far into it that it's almost reversed back onto itself. It's hard to explain. Just know that the strongest filth released from their mouth still has a shred of truth, if it hasn't already been entirely truthful from the get-go. Yeah, it's gimmicky, but lest we forget that the members of Tsunami were also in bands like Gulch, Drain, Hands of God, Spinebreaker, and Big Boy, amongst many others. Don't mistake these guys for fools, because they'll be the first ones to come up and call you a bitch and tell you to shut the fuck up. Long live shit-talking and hardcore. Alright, that is going to do it. Those were six of the most essential Bay Area hardcore records coming out of the modern scene. Obviously, there are other records that dropped around this same time from that scene, and unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to talk about all of them. Real quick though, I would like to recommend a couple of other bands from that scene, such as No Right, Big Boy, World Peace, Out of Pocket, and Temptation 87. There are so many bands to be coming out of that scene, but these are just a couple of the important ones that I think you should be checking out. Links to all the albums that I discussed here will be located in the video description box below. Scroll down even further to the comment section where you can let me know if you liked any of the albums that I picked here. Maybe you're a big fan of the Bay Area hardcore scene, maybe you've been a part of it for a long time, and well, maybe in turn you think that I made the wrong list. Honestly, any discourse is good discourse, so leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this in a series that I have dubbed the Variety Show, which mainly come out, I would say, every month or so at this point. I also do a show called So You're Interested In, where I go through and break down an artist's discography in order to give you the best jumping off point in order to get into them. I've actually made a So You're Interested In video for Drain, so if you're interested in California Cursed or their entire discography in general, be sure to check that video out. And then there are shows like Stacks of Wax and Where It's At, which also come out periodically as well, so there's plenty of content to be consumed from this channel, so if you're subscribed, you'll be the first ones to know. And that is going to wrap just about everything up, outside of my usual reminder for you to go out and support your local record store if you were able to, along with the local artists in your area, and, well, until I see you next time, happy listening.